Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about calculus. Let us start with some differentiation formulas. So if we differentiate x to the power of n, we will get n times x to the power of n minus 1. Differentiating ln x, we will obtain 1 over x. Differentiating e to the x, we will get e to the x. Differentiate sine x is cos x. Differentiate cos x is negative sine x. Differentiate tangent x is sec square x. Differentiate sec x is sec x tan x. Differentiate cosec x, we get negative cosec x cotan x. Differentiate cotan x, we get negative cosec squared x. Differentiate inverse tangent x, we got 1 over 1 plus x squared. Differentiate uv, the product rule, we will have v times du dx plus u times dv dx. Differentiate u over v, we will get, using the quotient rule, v times du dx minus u times dv dx over v squared. If we have a parametric equation, x equals to ft, y equals to yt, then by chain rule, dy dx equals to dy dt divided by dx dt. Differentiate inverse of sine x, we get 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. Differentiate inverse cos x, we get negative 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. Differentiate sine x, we get cosh x. Differentiate cosh x, we get shine x. Differentiate then x, we get shek squared x. Differentiate inverse shine x, we get 1 over square root 1 plus x squared. Differentiate inverse cosh x, we get 1 over square root x squared minus 1. Differentiate inverse then x equals to 1 over 1 minus x squared. Let us now look at integration. So integrating x to the power of n, we have x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Integrating 1 over x equals to ln x. Integrating e to the x, we have e to the x. Integrating sin x, we have negative cos x. Integrating cos x, sin x. Integrating sec square x, tangent x. Integrating 1 over x squared plus a squared, we have 1 over a inverse tangent x over a. Integrating 1 over x squared minus a squared, we have 1 over 2a ln x minus a over x plus a. Integrating 1 over a squared minus x squared, we have 1 over 2a ln a plus x over a minus x. And integrating u dv dx dx, which is integrating by parts, we have uv minus integrating v du dx dx. And integrating f prime x over fx, we have ln fx. Next, integrating sec x, we have ln sec x plus 10x. Integrating cosec x, we have negative ln cosec x plus cotan x. And integrating shine x, we have cosh x. Integrating cosh x, we have shine x. 
integrating shack square x we have then x. Integrating 1 over square root a squared minus x squared, we have inverse sine x over a. Integrating 1 over square root x squared minus a squared, we have inverse cosh x over a. And integrating 1 over square root a squared plus x squared, we have inverse shine x over a. Let us now look at this example. We want to find derivative of y equals to 6x power negative 4 minus inverse cosh 4x to the power of 7. So applying chain rule, we get y prime equals to negative 24x to the power of 5 minus 1 over square root 4x to the power of 7 squared minus 1 times 28x to the power of 6. And simplifying it, we get this. Let's try one more example that's a little more complex. So we want to find the derivative of y equals to inverse shack 81x to the power of 4 minus 5x to the power of negative 9 times inverse shine 6x to the power of 7 plus 103x to the power of 8. Taking the derivative one term at a time, applying product rule to the second term negative 5 x to the power of negative 9 inverse shine 6 x to the power of 7 and remembering to apply chain rule the derivative is y prime equals to negative 1 over 81 x to the power of 4 square root 1 minus 81 x to the power of 4 squared times 324 x cubed minus negative 45 x to the power of 10 times inverse shine 6 x to the power of 7 plus 5 x to the power of negative 9 times 1 over square root 6 x to the power of 7 squared plus 1 times 42 times x to the power of 6 plus 824 times x to the power of 7. And the next step, we are going to simplify all of this. Now, let us look at the second derivative of an implicitly defined function. You are reminded that an implicit function is given by f x1, x2, x3, x4 until xn equals to 0. However, we are concerned only with the case where there are two variables. For example, the function defining a circle with the origin as the center and c as the radius. We have this x squared plus y squared equals to c squared. Using this relatively simple example, let me illustrate the method of arriving at the second derivative with respect to either variable. We are going to use x, x prime x prime prime, y, y prime, y prime prime, as opposed to x, d, x dy, d square x, dy squared, y, dy dx, d squared y, dx squared. On account of the being easier 
to work with in this case, as you will see. Differentiating ones with respect to x, as per the implicit differentiation, you must have learned in your A-levels P3. 2x plus 2y y prime equals to 0, then we have y prime equals to negative x over y. Differentiating again with respect to x, we find that the term 2x is easily differentiated. Differentiation of y y prime, however, is notion as yet for in. For this, we recognize that y prime must too be a function of x, and that the product rule is then applicable here, and that y prime prime equals to y prime prime or d dx dy dx or d squared y dx squared. So the differentiation of y y prime is then y y prime prime equals to y y prime prime plus y prime squared. Then the second differentiation of the curve should yield 2 plus 2y y prime prime plus 2 times y prime squared equals to 0. And you divide this equation by 2. And rearranging it, we have y times y prime prime equals to negative 1 minus y prime squared. And we know that y prime is negative x over y, so we substitute it. And dividing the equation by y, we have this. And simplifying it into a single fraction, we have y prime prime equals to negative y squared plus x squared over y cubed. A further substitution could yield y prime prime equals to negative c squared over y cubed. Let us now look at an example. The point P21 lies on the curve with the equation x cubed minus 2y cubed equals to 3xy. So we want to find the dy dx first at point P. So we differentiate the equation to get 3x squared minus 6y squared y prime equals to 3 times y plus x y prime. Putting in the coordinates of P, 2, 1, we have 3 times 2 squared minus 6 times 1 squared times y prime equals to 3 times 1 plus 2 times y prime. So y prime is 3 over 4. And to find d squared y dx squared, we differentiate it again. We have 6x minus 6 times y squared y prime prime plus 2y times y prime squared equals to 3y prime plus 3 times y prime plus xy prime prime. And again, we plug in the values of x, y, and y prime. And we can find y prime prime which is 1 over 16. A curve has a parametric equation x equals to 2 theta minus sine 2 theta, y equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta. So we want to show that dy dx equals to cot theta. And so by differentiating with respect to theta, we have dx d theta equals to 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta and dy d theta equals to 2 sine 2 theta. We further realize that dy dx equals to 2 sine 2 theta over 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta. And simplifying it, we will obtain cotangent theta. Now we are going to find the value of d squared y dx squared for theta equals to pi over 4. For this, we must make the following consideration. d squared y dx squared equals to d dx dy dx and equals to d dx cotangent theta and equals to d d theta cotangent theta dot d theta dx. 
using the chain rule. So recall that the differentiation of cotangent theta is negative cosec squared theta and that d theta dx equals to 1 over dx d theta. So d squared y dx squared equals to negative cosec squared theta over 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta. And simplifying it, we have negative 1 over 4 sine to the power of 4 theta. Putting in the value of theta equals to pi over 4 d square y dx squared equals to negative 1. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.